Hey guys, Mishka here. Um, today we are going to be talking about the Scoundrel. Uh, the Scoundrel is a high DPS single target class. Okay, good. Um, basically what that means is you're going to burn through single targets very quickly. So, bad guy, he's dead. Um, it's great for that, that spike DPS once you have a full chamber. And it's great for getting multiple crits. So um, let's go over the basics of the class. Uh, you have your pistol. And you have, I think, what, six shots? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So you got six shots, and they reload at a rate of one per second. So you get to decide how you want to do that. If you want to shoot one a second and just kind of, you know, leave it loading. Or if you want to just blow the whole gasket, um, it's up to you. I... I do, what's, uh, I do a charge shot, and then I just kind of blow it all. So I hold the trigger down, it'll give me three shots at once, and then you can go kaboom and just kind of, you know, hit that spike really, really hard. Uh, so that's the basic of, you know, that's, that's the weapon, um, but there's a lot more to it than that. So the next thing to talk about is the curved shots. So you can actually curve the bullets that you shoot. Um, and it's based on the velocity of the gun and which way it's moving when you do it. So you see up there it said rank 2. Rank 2. Let me see if I can get back further and get a better one. Oh, he does. Rank 4. So the further you are and the, the more of a curve you do, the higher of a rank you're going to get. That rank, the higher the rank is, um, the more extra damage you're going to do. Oh, here's a good mechanic. Interrupts. Do your charged shot. How did I miss him? That was embarrassing. Uh, so yeah, the ranked, um, the curves, the more of a curve you do, the higher your rank. The higher your rank, the more damage you deal. So that's a huge mechanic, especially if you're doing like dungeons and raids and whatnot. Um, you want to be hitting those really high... Why am I still in combat? Somebody's attacking me. You want to hit those, um, you know, ranks fours and preferably fives very consistently. Um, let me see if I can get out of combat here because that's just kind of annoying. There we go. Okay, so bullets. Six, charge for an interrupt and for extra damage. Um, shoot as fast or as slow as you want. Uh, hit the curved shots to deal extra damage. Now that curved shot debuff is only going to apply to the one that you hit with the curved shot. I don't play. There we go, rank five. So that's the best one that you can get. And then you're de dealing a lot more damage per hit. Um, yeah, that debuff only applies to that target. So if you're in a dungeon and you've got, like, you know, the trash mobs, sure, you can hit that rank 5, but that rank 5 is only going to apply to that one target. You're not going to be dealing that extra damage. It's not a buff on you. It's a debuff on that enemy specifically for you. So that's that. Now let's go over um, the next bit is your deck of cards. So you have six cards in your deck. Um, I already used the flint one earlier just out of habit. Let's go over what they all do. Uh, that's the ice one. It's going to slow my target. So, looks like he's taking care of that guy. Let's go over this guy, for instance. Pew. He slowed. Right. Um, really great if you have an ice heart weapon, or just, in general, slowing bad guys down. All right, next one. What do we got? All right, we have the flame card. I'm going to deal extra damage. Um, I probably should have been looking at how much damage I do normally. Um, yeah, you know, a 31,000 uh, for a single shot is pretty good. You know, mage numbers. Cool. What's the next card? A light card. That's going to heal me. So I'm going to go ahead and take some damage here. Hey, your mom's ugly. There we go. Um, so however damage I deal, that's how much I'm going to heal here. So um, for that... Oh, come on, dude. Heal. Right? So usually I like to do a, um, a charged shot for that. Where did my journal go? All right. Next one is the Vines card. The Vine card is your poison. So I hit this guy over here. You're going to see he's got that damage over time. And let's go ahead and burn him. Cool. My journal keeps disappearing. Anyway, last card is going to be uh, Flame again. Oh, I might have had Ash earlier. Uh, yeah, Flame, increased damage. Hey! There we go. Um, and then, yeah, the Ash one, that's Flame again. 
uh, Ash just, there it is. Um, it gives you increased critical chance. Now the Scoundrel is great at hitting crits. They hit crits all the time. So here we go, that was a critical shot. Each of those stacks means that you hit a crit and you're dealing extra damage um, for the Scoundrel. So you see right there, I got four crits and just that tiny, tiny combat encounter, which is awesome. Now, uh, you don't just have to use the cards, you can burn them. So to burn it, you hold it and you pull the trigger. That burns it, and now that's going to empower the next card. You see here, it tells you what it does. So I just burned the ice card. Ice is going to increase the potency of my damage card. Um, that wasn't a damage card. That weakens the defenses. That's damage over time. That's healing. It might actually affect the damage over time. I don't know. Okay, so my next shot deals greatly increased damage, plus the empowered increases potency of damage card. So I should theoretically hit for a really, really good number here. Uh, I'm going to do a charge shot too. Yeah, just for the sake of making sure that I hit, I'm not doing my curved shots. Uh, so yeah, 50,000. Not bad. Pew. Yeah, I'm not great with the uh, curved shots. Um, at least not in the overall. In the dungeons, I don't know. There's something about a dungeon. I can hit those curved shots um, left and right. It's great. So we already burned ice. We know what that one does. Um, I don't even have to show you. We can just read it. Uh, light and flame is going to spread the debuffs to nearby enemies. So if you can, uh, burn a light or a flame card and then get your poison card for the trash mobs. They'll spread the poison to everybody. That just makes life much easier. Um, that's Scoundrel in a nutshell. I don't have any recommendations for tiles just because the, um, you know, the, the class requires... Uh, the, the deck... The deck is shuffled randomly, so you don't know what card you're going to pull next. Um, that is kind of the downside to it. Uh, regarding your super, the super is nothing special. Um, and it's a shame that I have to say that. Um, I know that a lot of people are complaining to the devs about it. I don't know what the devs are planning on doing about it. But the super, whenever you do it, um, it makes it to where your shots will auto-track to the nearest enemy. In PvP, it won't hit them. It'll just circle around their head which is kind of cute looking, but it doesn't do anything. Um, but it does mess up your curved shots, and it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be hitting what you want to hit. So if you're in a boss fight and there are ads and you want to ignore the ads, the ads are closer to you than the boss, it's going to hit the ads and there's nothing you can do about it. The other downside is that if you have a card and you have a charge shot and you burn the card, now you've pulled both triggers, you just activated your super. And that's not good. Um, so... Yeah, the super, uh, I don't use it ever. I don't recommend it. It's just something that's there. There we go, rank five. And now let's burn him. Q, see, get that rank five and, oh, you're gold. Okay, talents, let's go over the talents here. Full chamber, uh, when firing a bullet from a fully loaded gun, you have a 10% chance to critically strike. That's nice, but you're gonna get crits pretty easily. I prefer card buffs to last an additional two seconds. Um, just the, you know, I, I'm a team player. I like to do that. Card contains seven cards, two of which are the card of flames. That's great because you're dealing more damage, or you can regenerate 10% quicker. Um, the more cards you have, the more, you know, buffs and debuffs you're doing, the more you're helping your team. I'm a very, especially as a scout, I'm a team player here. Damage buff from level three and higher is increased by 25%, while damage from rank two and lower is decreased by 25%. Uh, as a scoundrel, the better you get, the more you're going to be hitting those higher rank um, uh, curved shots. Especially on a boss, it's hard to miss a boss. You're going to be getting 4s and 5s easily, so it's better to get that 25% damage. As opposed to all rank 1s are automatically uh, upgraded to rank 2s, you shouldn't be hitting rank 1s. If you're hitting rank 1s, you're either new to the class, um, you haven't practiced enough, or you're just a terrible player that should feel bad about yourself and never play scoundrel again. Just kidding. Keep practicing, um, and, and you'll stop getting rank ones. Um, I highly recommend these vertical curves um, as opposed to the horizontal ones. Those are wonky. Vertical, maybe a little bit of right to left. Um, I was a pitcher in high school. That's kind of you know what my breaking ball was like. I say as I miss those shots. Boom, rank five, and just go ahead and throw them. Yeah. Uh, let's see. You can charge up to four bullets at a time, or a three bullet charge shot now applies break armor, increasing all incoming damage from all sources by 
I do that mostly because if I'm in a raid and I go as a scoundrel because I'm feeling lazy, it's great to get that 5% damage buff without having to go Bard. Um, you know, Bard gives everybody that 5%. Breakshot will also give 5% with me doing the DPS of a scoundrel as opposed to a Bard, which is great. Last one, critical hits add a buff to yourself, which increases your crit chance by 5, but also increases damage to you by 10%. I mean, it makes you a glass cannon, but you shouldn't be taking damage as a DPS anyway. You should be out in the back, tank should be taking the damage, healer should be healing you if you take any, as opposed to every six shot is a guaranteed crit. You should be critting more than every six shots. So, that's kind of how I feel about Scoundrel. I don't play it very often, as you can tell by the fact that I was having to go by the book to tell you. Um, but that's just kind of a quick breakdown for you newer players or people who haven't played Scoundrel before. Um, it's a fun class. It's definitely fun, especially um, learning to get those curved shots, uh, learning the debuffs, learning when to use your cards. My god, if he was a boss. <laughs> okay, maybe a little bit closer. Um, yeah, I definitely need more practice as a scoundrel. As you can see, I really don't play that often. Yeah, it hit me, and I should have healed that. I don't know, that card's just kind of sitting up there. That was weird. It should have... Yeah. There's still bugs in the game, but that's all right. Uh, yeah, Scoundrel. It's a fun class. Um, kind of a lazier DPS, because, you know, you just point and shoot. Get some curved shots. Uh, I recommend curving from the wrist. Um, I know you can't actually see me in real life, but my elbow uh, is... I I'm sitting down. My elbow stays where it is on my knee, and I'm just curving the wrist. Uh, you don't need to do, like, these huge, uh, you know, shoulder curves. Um, besides that, if you do go too fast, the bullet goes straight anyway. So, you know, just a nice little easy break of the wrist will um, we'll do those curves. So that's it. That's all I got for you um, for the Scoundrel. If I, you know, play it some more, get better insights on it, I'll, you know, upload another video and give more tips. Until then, if you got any questions, comments, concerns, uh, feel free to reach out to me. I'm here on YouTube. I'm on Reddit all the time. Um, and I'm in-game. So, happy hunting!